Hello guys, welcome back to Autocrate. Some baggy Evo customs and a Jeep Compass drop down for a complete audio upgrade. It's getting some beautiful pair of components, an amazing amplifier, a Shalomon subwoofer, and complete soundproofing. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video, and I'll be explaining guys everything in detail. So let's get started. So guys, starting up with these are the equipments which are gonna be installed on this Jeep Compass. Now starting with the main thing, the wiring kit, a 7 megas 8 gauge wiring kit will be installed and by far sub 4000 rupees is one of the best wiring kit which is there out in the market because the quality of the wires and the output is just amazing and the life of this is also pretty long. Now moving to the components, two pairs of focal axis 165S will be installed on this vehicle, one for the front and one for the rear in order to give a good staging as well as timber matching and give similar signature of vocals as well as trebles as well as mid bass in the cabin. Now I've done a complete unbox and overview of this Focal Axis 165AS. Those of you guys want to understand what exactly this component is for and who should go for this. Uh, link will be popping up on the right hand side of the screen. You guys can check that out after watching this particular video. Now moving next, the CAN bus, now the line output converter for this particular car. Now this is a CAN bus line output converter as no normal line output converter will be can be installed on a Jeep Compass as it needs a CAN bus line output converter. So this is a 6 channel line output converter with a base controller in it and this works perfectly well in order to convert the sound signals into RC cables. So it will be converting the I input uh, signals to RC cables, RC signals to be precise. Now moving to the amplifier, it's an Arcadio XXT4080 amplifier, a beautiful class T compact chassis amplifier. So I'll just unbox that. So you get some paperwork from Arcadio. Now, this is how the amplifier looks like. So just remove the packaging. So, so guys, this is how the amplifier looks like. Very compact chassis, 80 watts of RMS per channel. And so much of RMS in a compact chassis is kind of rare, but Arcadio has done that. And it gives clean 80 watts of RMS and it's pretty much stable. So go to product if you want to hear some premium sound. Now the amplifier which I've been chosen for this particular setup is an infinity reference shallow mount subwoofer. So it's a 12 inch subwoofer which gives out around 25, uh, 250 watts of RMS and a maximum of 1000 watts at peak. So this is how the shallow mount subwoofer box will be. So it's pretty slim. Those of you guys who want to conserve your boot space, this is the thing to go for so that you can save some space for the luggage. So this is the equipment which is going to be installed on this particular vehicle. So right now let's move outside and see how the work has been started. So guys the work just got completed and uh, I do not want to show you guys the complete working process as that might increase the duration of the video. So I'm keeping it short for now. So the 7 mega wiring kit has been passed from the battery, the 8 kg wiring kit, positive terminal and this is where the fuse holder has been placed. It's been watertight and then it's passed through inside the cabin. For now let me move inside the driver's cabin to show you guys the complete installation. So the mid piece has been installed here. I mean a layer of blop and damping has been done on the black panel as well as the door panel. So I'll be explaining you guys in one of the door pad as I've made sure that's not yet been fitted. So this door pad has been fitted, the mid piece is placed here. As you guys can see even after damping there's no panel gaps. So that's very very important in a Jeep Compass and in fact every car's because after damping there will be panel gaps with few installers I just don't want to pick up the names but you should make sure there's no panel gaps in the door pads. Now the tweeter has also been retained in the stock location so the stock tweeter which we get from Jeep has been removed and the focal axis 165S tweeter has been installed. So again mid is here the same on the other side and this is the base knob for the uh, subwoofer and this is connected to the line output converter which in turn acts like an amplifier's base knob so this is where it's been located for a convenient reach now moving to the rear this is how the damping has been done a blop on stamping the crossover has been placed here similar even on the front driver's side but it's been placed on a different location on the front both sides because you need clearance with the door pad while placing the crossover. Now this is how the mid piece has been fitted. Now all Jeep compasses get a custom ring and that custom ring has to be made. So based on the custom ring, this mid piece has been situated. So one layer on this uh, door and uh, a bit of where, until where the ha hand can reach or the accessibility on the inside layer of the door, the damping has been done there as well. Those of you guys have seen the Jeep Compass door naked, you, you guys know that there is a black plastic panel here which rattles the most. So that's where the damping has been done over it and one layer has been done on the door pad as well. 
so now this is where the damping has been done so i'll be moving on to show you guys the sub so this is the shalomon sub the infinity reference as you guys can see it's stuck to the seat now where my hand is the seat and yours where the sub is i'm so sorry for the poor lighting as there's no light and it's turned dark right now so this is the amount of thickness so you have a good amount of boot space as you guys can see the sub is placed there and it's kind of velcro to the seat so it doesn't move around so that's where the sub is again this is the other side of the door damping now uh, ah. this is where the amplifier has been located as you guys can see now it's been placed cross so that the tuning should be done and this is a crossover i mean the line output converter so this is the complete setup guys once the tuning is done i'll be giving you guys a complete audio output of this jeep compass and i'll be explaining you guys how good it sounds and whether this kind of setup is worth on a jeep compass so guys this is the very next morning the tuning and the final installation took place late night and the customer wanted to pick up the very next day so the car is standing outside the complete installation is done i'm going to show you guys how beautiful the focal axis 165 is confident sound paired with an arc audio switch and amplifier along with an infinity reference shalomon so, so let's get going and listen to the audio output so guys now it's time for the output so the song which i'll be playing is nca's red light i don't want to uh, play any other song in order to end up with copyright issue but before starting up with the audio output i want to tell you one thing so those of you guys who have a mindset that with 10 volume you want to hear the loudest setup or something as such guys come on that's totally a wrong assumption and it's a myth now player to player the volume frequency is kind of differ now in jeep compass you in order to have a proper distort free high volume listening experience the output i mean the loudness kind of starts from 15 to 20 volume and even at 38 volume which is the highest in this jeep compass stock infotainment system it sounds clear and loud now those of you guys who just boost up the gain and just want to hear that loudness in 10 or 15 you're going to screw up your speakers you're going to ruin your amplifier as well as you're drawing a lot of current from the system i mean the system won't get affected much but your amplifier and your components are going to go for a toss if you do so so make Make sure your equipment is tuned by the right person. So enough of talking. Now let's get started with the audio output. So guys hope you enjoyed the audio output now again guys I'm going to tell the same thing as every time I tell you guys I'm not sure how well the camera caught up the audio output because in person the experience is completely different but yes you can make out a bit of difference with the DSLR mic but not as much as you feel or experience in person so that's my point of view now again guys please get away from the myth of having loud volume with very less I mean loudness with very less volume So that's a very big myth and you kind of ruin your equipments by just paying 
I mean that concept should be taken out with most of the people's mentality I mean like you got to come out of that mentality and understand what the true music is what the true loudness sounds like and various other aspects of music which I will be adding and explaining later in my videos as well I'll be taking guys in an in-depth knowledge of audio upgrades and audio equipments for now this is uh, much of this uh, video guys hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys like it please consider the like button if you haven't subscribed do consider the subscribe button and turn the notification bell icon and if you have any queries or suggestions just comment on the comment section or just contact the number given on the screen and we'll make sure we'll get back to you and those of you guys who stayed until the end to know what is the total cost of this audio setup it comes up to 75,000 or 75 to 80,000 rupees this is a rough estimate guys uh, I cannot give you the exact pricing because the pricing kind of differs from vehicle to vehicle and you can totally drop down to Evo or contact again the number and we will help you and guiding you the complete pricing as well as helping you guys to get your audio project or your dream project done so see you guys in the next video.